Hello everybody, my name is Provis and welcome back to more Civilization 6 playing as Byzantium going hard on the faith roots, which I pray to God works for me, because right now we're not exactly going fast on our great prophet. Um, other people are indeed going faster than me, and if we can't somehow manage to get um, more uh, great prophet points, uh, we may not be able to get a religion before someone else does, and uh, understandably that would be rather horrendous for me as Byzantium. I really, really would benefit from owning my own religion. We did find a village. Oh, it's right down here. Perfect. Let's go ahead and grab one of those. That'll be pretty big. Um, so yeah, I'm a little concerned about that, but we're trying. We're trying really hard. Delegation is most welcome. Absolutely, China. Welcome aboard. We want to be friends with you. We could really use a buddy right about now. You go over this direction. We're going to go ahead and clear out one of those camps. Um, a shrine just to get the extra points becomes super tempting to me because, again, if we don't get that great profit, we're in a lot of trouble. Now, if I can build the shrine and the other holy site, I can get four great profit points per turn, which means I will be able to surpass somebody. But I don't know if it's going to end up being enough. Um, we will see. You go over here, I guess, and just kind of explore a bit more. Let's see what else is going on down in this direction. Not seen anything exciting. You're going to go ahead and head back, I guess. Not a lot of point in having you over there. Um, I would love to get a kill with a slinger because I know that that's going to trigger a needed Eureka. We actually got a tech boost for archery, apparently. Um, why? I don't remember what that was. What did we do for your archery? Oh, kill a unit with a slinger. We didn't. I did not kill a unit with a slinger as far as I'm aware. So I am not entirely sure why we just got that. That feels weird. I'm missing something obvious. Welcome rainfall. Oh, nice. Oh, I know what it is. Okay, I'm sorry. We explored the village. Oh, uh, okay. So if we were going to get a Eureka, that was one of the worst ones we could get. Because I was going to kill somebody with this uh, slinger anyway. All right. Well, unfortunate. But hey, we did finally get a goodie hut. So how angry can I be, really? Um... I don't want to sit in Jerusalem's territory, because they're going to get all mad. But what can I do, really? Would love to get the suzerain bonuses and the science and stuff here, but... Eh. Okay, we're getting a road down to Mitla. Thousands That'll be nice. Irrigation without. tech is done. So if we get ourselves another builder, we can start upgrading the coffee, and I do need amenities. And we could trade those amenities for a lot of extra boosts, so that's pretty good. Um, it might be time to get writing. I would love to get bronze working, but that requires killing some barbarians, which we haven't done yet at this point. Um, we're going to wait one more turn and move both of you guys up on the hills so we can uh, quickly bombard them. Yes, yes, I know. Need more amenities. Duly noted. Let's go ahead and cross the river, see what else is going on down in this direction. You get over there. Alright, so that's actually a pretty good place for you to just kind of hold position in the hills, if needed. Um, we'll explore up to the north, I suppose. There's a natural wonder over here, clearly, and a player. Is that Carthage? Might be Carthage, actually. Yeah. Carthage is another early Civ that's pretty strong. Ancient Era is ending in eight turns. Okay. So we have only eight turns to get another uh, nine Era score. I don't think that's likely, but we're not going to get a Dark Age. This galley scares me. I genuinely do not like seeing a galley nearby. Huh. Um, did Scythia really settle? No, that's China. I'm sorry. Scythia and China both have similar colors. Yellow and red versus slightly darker yellow and red. Weird, right? How it works. Um, okay, so let's it go ahead and discover this. We did landscape. find a natural wonder. For all the... That'll be worth at least a little bit. We also got a promotion. I'd love to kill the scout. But that's one more era score. Hmm. Not going to be enough. I find it very unlikely we're going to get... Oh my god, two galleys. That's a runaway moment right there. And they just killed my slinger. Wow. Wow. Okay, that was extremely unfortunate. But that was also really hard to predict. By the time we got up there, it was kind of too late. Uh, we could attack the um, archer. But that probably is a bad idea, right? Let's go for faster hill terrain movement. With our promotion, I should have moved first. Actually, one tile would have been smart. Our slinger is now in a lot of trouble. Um, we're going to have to back up because the spearman's going to kill me. Unbelievable. Okay. Not finding much else over here. Something's down here. Is this a player? It might be Gaul, actually. 
Try going up this way. Finding nothing exciting. Okay. Scythia is upset because I am not doing something right. Well, Gaul declared war on China. Hmm. Okay. Well, we might be able to become friends with China. I'm going to go ahead and ask if we can declare a friendship, and he does say yes. So that's good. Anything I could buy. We almost could build an uh, buy another trader. Or a builder. Which is tempting. Hanging gardens is good. Very good, in fact. But I'm not sure it's the top priority. I do think we want to get the monument going. But we might also need another slinger. We're kind of in the middle of losing our slinger. Let's go ahead and send the warrior back. We may have a harder time getting rid of that camp than I thought. Let's see. Anything exciting up in this direction? The answer appears to be no. Tundra. Tundra sometimes does have goody huts that get uh, ignored by the, uh, the AI. That does sometimes happen. So, you now have four population. You're still kind of working all the tiles I think I would want you to, so this is fine. Wouldn't mind getting this upgraded. We do need to get another builder at some point. So, you finished with the holy site, yes? Okay. So, that's good. Could get another shrine. Not sure it's worth it. Could get a builder. In two turns, we are going to be able to get a uh, boost for builders. But it might be worth building this now anyway. I do kind of need some improvements on tiles. Um, actually, no. Right here doesn't make a lot of sense. But a shrine doesn't feel great either. Monuments? Granary? Maybe granary. Yeah, maybe the granary is a better choice right now. Um, oh, boy. So let's take a look at great people. So someone else is about to found a religion. We're getting three profit points per turn. They're getting two. So we're going to surpass somebody unless they do something. Um, am I crazy? Or shouldn't we be getting more points than this? I might be crazy. Because I thought we were going to get more uh, holy points, or sorry, great profit points from the holy site. Let's see, we're getting one. So here's where I'm confused on something, and I need to check this. Plus one great profit points from cities with a holy site district. We have that. So between two points from cities with a holy site, I think that's where we're seeing this happen. Yeah, we are getting the plus one from placing down the uh, holy sites over here. I think that's automatically rolling into our national bonus. So another shrine is the only way I could get up to four. I really need food and stuff, though. Like, I can't focus entirely on faith. We really do have to start making progress elsewhere. Culture and other things, right? There's Gaul. Hello. I figured you must be close to China if you're fighting. Gaul is a uh, very good defensive nation. So if they're attacking China, I'm somewhat surprised about that. Okay. Well, we'll see. I really do need to get the extra culture and stuff from monuments. We're behind in a lot of things because I focus so hard on the, um, on the, uh, the, the holy sites. Because I really need to get that religion. And I think that was the right call in the sense that we should be able to surpass somebody. As long as they don't get a third point going. We will eventually catch up bit by bit. So we should be able to found a religion. And founding a religion is extra good for me just because I get extra bonuses for holy cities. I'm going to move into my territory and heal. That should be better. Um, it's not the end of the world if we didn't get one. But it's not good. You don't like that I don't have a lot of military units. Yes, that was one of the trade-offs I had to make, isn't it? Ancient Era ends in three turns. Okay. What else do we want? Archery? Maybe. Currency would let me get extra trade routes. If we were to get things like a market and a commercial hub. Wheel? We haven't mined a resource yet. Though we could if we bought a tile soon. Sailing, so we can get an upgrade for our Amber, or Archery, so we can get a uh, better range unit. 
Hmm. Well, revealing iron is tempting, but until we kill barbarians, I don't think that's going to be the best deal. Sailing is only good so we can get one tile upgraded. And if I do plan on getting some builders, this is good. I think we'll go ahead and research the sailing. Found some barbarians. Still no sign of other goody huts, though. And we are kind of stuck over here, actually. Let's try going this way. We're kind of in the middle of a war, watching these guys duke it out with each other. Not really thrilled to be a part of that. A skull, I don't think, even has a pantheon a right now. Which is interesting. So, uh, we can now go for the production toward builders. And I think that's worth it. I don't think I care necessarily about the recon experience anymore. I do think I'm going to care about discipline. So we're going to try for this. Let's confirm. As far as our next civic, I think we have to go for early empire. I want to go for political philosophy, ASAP. And actually, if we go for Magnus, I could appoint you. And we're going to put you in Constantinople. And that's a good spot for you right now. So let's take a look at our governors. The steward. Groundbreaker. We, we can get another boost for you. Provisions here. Settlers trained in the city do not consume a population. This is what I would like to get. But that would require that we get some extra governor points, which right now I don't have. So we would have to build like a government district or something similar. Hmm. Want to cross the river? Can't do that. Warrior is still on the way. We have a little bit of money sitting around at the moment. Um, only can build a slinger. Buying a slinger is tempting. I don't think it's the right choice, per se. Let's go ahead and cross the river and make it faster for the future. Okay, so there's nothing else over here, including no more goody huts. So this was kind of a big waste of tundra. Was hoping to find something. Not that it matters too much. Like, honestly, what's really amazing to me is there's a load of room for expansion off to the west. Make a dedication? Okay, so we are in the next era. Free inquiry. Gain error score every time we trigger a Eureka. Or an inspiration. A district. Or convert to a founded religion for the first time. Excess of the Evangelist is what I'm going to dedicate. Because I'm really praying in this era... I can get myself that profit. And right now, we're actually getting five per turn all of a sudden. So something just changed, and I'm not sure what. Did the city bonuses just kick in? I'm getting confused on that. Because I thought we were going to get that all calculated already. Why it's only kicking in now, I don't know. Is that something we would see here? It doesn't say that it's only starting in this era, but that might be the case. Maybe just hadn't unlocked, but now we're getting five. So I'm guaranteeing myself that I'm going to get a, uh, a profit. Now, it's interesting that some other player does have the ability to get a religion, but is just choosing not to. For some reason. I'm not complaining. Less religions to compete with just makes my life a little bit easier. Okay, so you've got a lot of archers. So they've gone hard on the military. Which isn't too surprising. Met some... No, we did not meet some new city-states. I thought we had. We're under attack from there. New quest, though, because it's a new era. What do you want me to do? Train a galley. Construct a campus. Send a trade route. Eureka. I can send you a trade route. That's no issue. I think it actually works well for me because... Um, it will go through my city to reach you, right? Uh, no, it might go this way. Either way, getting roads with this next trader makes a lot of sense. So we'll get the, uh, we'll get the guy, the envoy over there, for a little bit of extra culture. Campus Plaza. So if I build this first, and if I do, I think I place it here. Um, we can get the extra point I need to upgrade Magnus. And then I can get a settler without costing myself some much needed population. Right? Right. Let's go ahead and move the slinger off that direction. I'm going to try to get the kill with the slinger if possible. We could probably turn you on to auto-explore. It looks like China might be losing a uh, city pretty soon, by the way. That's going to make for a very strong Gaul. Hanging Gardens is built by China, but Gaul's about to get that. So Gaul's about to become very strong. They only just now got fertility rights, by the way. 
Silly you. I've had religious settlements for years. Um, hmm. I can't help but feeling like we're somehow still screwing all of this up really bad. There's a very good tile to be had here. Are you automatically working it? You are good. Okay, so we're getting some extra culture that way. Really would love to upgrade the coffee, get those amenities. Need a builder. Found a few more horses over here. That's good to know, just in case I get desperate. Need to settle over here. Large, Need to get the horses. Look back Need... Over the to get rid of this camp so I can safely settle. Early Empire is done. That means we now move to political philosophy so I can get an upgrade for my government. You are going to move up here. No sign of galleys yet. That's good. That means I have a chance to actually go ahead and kill you. Uh, masonry for harvesting of stone is tempting just so I can get rid of the stone in favor of getting early production. But still, is that what I want? Maybe not. Um, archery, we probably should go ahead and get. The wheel for the water mill, however, works well for me. I know I haven't mined a resource yet, but once I get a builder, we're going to go... Wow, this is still a quarry thing. Yeah, we can't mine a resource right now. There's nothing to mine. So let's go ahead and work on the wheel with the intention of getting that water mill, because that works well for both of my cities. And actually, we have our government title. Oh, well, okay, let's promote you then. And let's get provision now. Confirm. So we didn't have to get the government plaza right now, actually, turns out. Well, I think we'll go ahead and finish it anyway. But now that he's established, he did get that point. Good to know. I kind of forgot that was a thing. I forgot he was going to get another point. It's been a while since I played some Civ, I'll be honest. But, that's huge. So, Magnus is amazing. Uh, you're about to die. Again. We can't get a promotion, though, but you'll still die. So we probably want to back up. We can do this against land units. The question to me now is, do we just go ahead and kill you and risk the galleys killing my warrior? If I move in here, I'm pretty sure that the warrior is definitely going to die. Um, great person. We can get Simon Peter. All right, so we have our prophet. Thank God. Move here. Found religion. We'll do that in a minute. Um, actually, we should do that now in case I'm going to end up killing something. Uh, let's see. Lots of cool little symbols we can go for here. But because we are playing as uh, Byzantium, I do think that we have to go for Eastern Orthodoxy. Just because it makes sense. We'll just go ahead and do that. I'm not going to get too excited with my different names. Now, what do we want? So I plan on spreading my religion aggressively. And hopefully we can get bonuses that get me extra science or culture from population. Holy sites, faith adjacency, getting me production is really good. In this case. We're not going to be going for divine inspiration. This is okay. Uh, no. 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 Though tempting, actually. I mean, lots of food. This would let me build tall. So this is not bad. Feed the world is pretty good. Reliquaries, no. No warrior monks. So work ethic for production or feed the world for food. That is a great question. Because right now... We're getting, what is it? Three, I think, faith here. And three faith here. So I can get three production in each city. Which I am very behind in production. Or we can just get raw growth. I think we're going to be okay-ish on food. But I do think I need production. So we're going to go ahead and get Eastern Orthodoxy. And we're going to go for work ethic. And then beyond that... Let's see. Let me find the one that I want. Is it World Church? World Church is really good. Uh, Cross-cultural dialogue would be solid as well, but I could really use the culture because I'm quite behind in that and I need to get to the divine right. So that'd be good. Alternatively, Crusade is amazing because not only will we start doing a load of damage to uh, enemy cities if they are following our religion, but we also kill their units faster too. I think we go for Crusade. Well... No, we're not going to war for a little bit. Maybe we go for the World Church. Yeah, I do think I'll go for the World Church just to eke out a little bit of extra culture. And that does give me like 1.5 more per turn. So that's going to help a little bit. Um, we will go for the Crusade as soon as I can get some sort of an Apostle. Right now we have a total of five followers for our religion. Theology gets a boost, so that's nice. We actually have successfully managed to do this everywhere. So let's see, are we... 
going to be able to spread over here. We might be able to spread a little bit into Mitla. Um, if we can send some missionaries down to Scythia, that would soften them up and put them in a position where I can kill them. So, um, I don't know if I run forward with my warrior in this case. I'm just terrified of these galleys. I'm gonna go ahead and kill them. Let's clear that out, and let's pray that I can survive long enough to get away. I am not convinced the warrior will be able to do so, but we'll try for it. So, we just got a fair bit of extra era score. We have a religion. We're about to finish this government plaza. We should be getting a pretty good amount of production now. 14 in the city is not half bad. 9 over here as well. Yeah, that's a little bit better than it was. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Um, we're going to want to start getting some serious settler action in my capital now, though. Now that we have Magnus, I think we need to start settling aggressively. And the thing is, I'm willing to lose this warrior because by clearing out this camp, we can move over here and settle. And I think that that is going to end up being well worth it. Yeah. Okay. Well, not quite dead. Gentle eruption for somebody. That's fine. So the warrior does survive, but barely. Could get the promotion, but likely won't survive. We're going to try to run, but I don't think it's going to work. I'm just going to tell you right now, spoiler alert, I think this guy is dead. Still. Um, so, settler time. Yes. Let's go ahead and grab the settler. New governor title is available. So we could go for another promotion here where strategic resource costs are discounted at 80%, which is good if I want to start building cavalry units, but I don't have anything yet. 20% um, growth in my capital city, plus trade routes ending here getting me extra food, is pretty good. So I think we could do this, or I could not do it. Instead, get another governor. But who would I get? Victor the Castellan, maybe? If I had loyalty issues, maybe. Liang would be tempting. Um, all builders in this city will get an extra charge. Is pretty nice. Pingala. I don't need this right now. Not important. Financier, no. And combat strength. Each city garrison. Combat strength is increased. Good for forward settling if we're going to be into wars. Can be assigned to a city state where she acts as envoys. Hmm. Religious pressure is uh, to adjacent cities is 100% stronger from this city. Now, that actually is more tempting than you might think. So, do I build taller in my capital, or do I go for the surveyor? I think I build taller in my capital with Magnus, but after this, I think I move on to Liang. But the extra growth in my capital means more tiles are going to be worked, and I think that that's well worth it for me. We can now buy a builder. And I'm going to, because we need to start getting things like amenities. Okay. You are going to, at this point, uh, start heading down south, I guess. See if there's anything new down here I care about. Still holding out hope that someday we're going to find a goodie hut. Might be able to sneak over here if I can just find a way across. We'll try for it. Okay, a couple more turns until we grow again. So we're going to keep that population, so that's great. Um, you're alive? Unbelievable. Okay. Uh, battle cry for fighting against units. More movement would be nice. Yeah, we'll go for battle cry. And both of these guys living is really surprising, but I am very excited about that. Um, so, I think we go ahead and get ourselves a... Builder in Thessalonica, because we have things we want to upgrade over here as well. I could also buy the Tile of the Marble. Might want to do that. Um, there's nothing I want to buy to steal from Mitla. Maybe the Bananas would have been a good option in hindsight, but I did not. I don't know what to do with this Scout. Truth be told, I think he's kind of stuck. A drought somewhere. That sucks. Okay, so here comes a little bit of extra population in my capital. Or it was going to. Hang on, let's go ahead and get the upgrade for our coffee first. So now we'll have some amenities. You then are going to go up over here and upgrade the amber. Yeah, you go down that way. Okay. Alright, now we're up to population of five. Let's take a quick look and see what we're working. Um, I'll be honest, as nice as the food is, I think it would be better to lock these tiles and then go ahead and work here for the extra culture instead. I just think this is better, especially since I know I'm about to get up here and upgrade it anyway, so it'll end up being the same amount of food. 
So it's just a better tile. We could also use our builder to go ahead and uh, tear down one of these forests to get a little bit of an extra production boost, which is tempting. Highly tempting. Let's go ahead and have you guys just heal up out there for a little bit. Actually, no. You go ahead and start heading down this direction. You stay up on this hill. For now, you're going to end up being where another city goes. We still don't have a very good military. I need to train up more military units, but so far we've gotten away without it. Political philosophy is going to be done in just a couple of turns. And then we'll be able to get ourselves some sort of an, uh, uh, a government. It will likely end up being oligarchy. Just because I do think that the extra economic policies and stuff will be helpful. Can purchase with faith. Ah, we can get ourselves our first missionary. Could do that. Um, we can't get apostles yet, so I think we go ahead and do that. Let's get a missionary. And we will end up sending you somewhere. Where? Do we want to go to Rapa Nui? We'll convert them in 36 turns automatically, but if we convert them... We would be able to conquer them easily. That said, I think the real thing to do is to get down here to Mitla and to Scythia and try to get their capital converted to our religion so that they'll start spreading it for me. I do think that's the way to go with the missionary. And you, honestly, at this point, I'm just going to automate exploration and hope you can do something. I'm not going to worry about it anymore. Somebody else. Uh, a city-state has declared war on China, so Gaul has an ally. Ah, okay, good for you. A weird spot over here. You can't take advantage of a lot of these tiles. They'll end up being in range of my capital at some point, I think, but still, weird. Could settle down over here with the city, but it also would be kind of weird. Just trying to think of where else we could expand beyond this. Jerusalem's attacking, too. Hmm. You sit tight. Um, okay, four more turns until we get another settler. Rapa Nui still only has warriors. If we did start training up some actual forces, we could go kill them. I'd love to get some cavalry as a thing. But we have to get horses for that first. You are getting attacked, which I don't like. We're going to move over here and just kind of stay away for a minute. The wheel is still on the way, but it's taking forever. We do have the classical era. So we have political philosophy, which means now we should go ahead and convert my government. So oligarchy or classical republic, I think. Well, great person points is tempting, but not super important. Housing? No. I think in this case, just outright, straight-up conquest is what I'm going to go for with Oligarchy. So we'll pick this up. That's an extra couple of error, uh, error score for me. Um, we could go for the Diplomatic League. Now let me think about this one, because... Sending a trade route would get me no extra envoys, because we already have one. Jerusalem. Trigger the Eureka for bronze working only works if I kill barbarians. So we're not going to gain anything, I think from um, doing the extra envoy from Diplomatic League. So I think we want to go for Charismatic Leader. And then for my wild card, we could go for the production of Settlers, and I think I will. Yes, I think we're going to do that. Because even once we are done training this one up here in Constantinople, I think I'm going to train another. We might even train another one in Thessalonica. I don't know yet. But we need to start expanding rapidly. We need a lot of cities. It's time. Two turns on military tradition, which would give flanking bonuses. Or we can go ahead and grab mysticism. I think I'll just go ahead and grab that. Let's take the extra food here. Okay, so this tile is a little bit better now. You still have how many builds? One. So, this wouldn't be a bad place to get rid of a forest, but what am I going to build that's important enough to do it? We could place a mine here. It's going to be ten more turns until we upgrade, and even then I have at least one more tile I can upgrade. That's not a high priority. And we're going to get a builder down over here already, so I think we will end up chopping the forest. It's just a question of what I want to get with it, with that production. Um, you start heading this direction. I know that there's still an archer over here I have to be wary of. Two more turns. Two more turns, and we'll get that. Record-setting river flooding in Jerusalem area. Floodplains are really good. They're really, 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 really good. But they're dangerous. It's the bit of the downside. Hmm. Go ahead and have you heal for a turn, I suppose. All right, so here comes the settler, and mysticism is done, and I have an extra envoy. So we could go for Jerusalem. Just go ahead and get that extra stuff. And this is where Diplomatic League actually would have been helpful. Because I could have done this. But I could also go for the suzerain bonus. We haven't got a campus yet. I would really love one. What else we need? Let's see. Military tradition is great, and we will want it. That said, 
Divine Right is still the most important. For that, though, we need kind of all of these. We don't need Military Tradition, oddly enough. I don't care about drama and poetry. I do like theology. I assume that theology will get me not only extra faith um, from this, but also the extra production. So scripture becomes really good. Also, temples would be nice. And we're envoys that way. Games and recreation. This is something I'm going to need because we want to get the Hippodrome. But I don't want to build Hippodromes until we have divine rights. That's the other irony. Military tradition we do need because of flanking bonuses. This also gives me a boost for cavalry. So we know we need that. I could do this. Just so we can do a quick um, card swap. Let's see. For the government plaza, we could go for an ancestral hall. Production towards settlers in this city. New cities receive free builders. It's pretty good. Amenities and housing in cities with governors. I don't think so. Warlord's Throne. Capturing enemy cities gives production to all cities for five turns. This almost works for me because I plan on doing a lot of conquest. Hmm. Tempting, actually. The Warlord's Throne, huh? That said, we still want to be going for the Settler, so we're going to be doing that first. We are going to be moving down over this direction for another city. And we may want to settle down over here as well. Another very good forward settling location. And there are some pretty solid resources to be had over here, including a lot of food. The problem is not a ton of production. Still, if we can find a good settling location down over here, that's not bad either. Um, a shrine? No, I don't think we want that. Another slinger? Maybe... Monuments for culture. Uh, I don't know about that one. Um, I need more units. We're going to go for a slinger. You are going to go down over here. And we're going to grab that marble real quick. We actually are out of time, I'm aware. Demolish the woods, get production towards a settler. See, this is where I'm like, I could actually be trying to build something like an um, a wonder. But I don't think either of these are super duper crucial. However, getting the Warlord's Throne or the Ancestral Throne... Ah, uh, here's the thing, though. This is really good. New City is getting a Builder. This times out well with what I'm doing right now. Okay. You know what? Instead of the Warlord, tempting though that would be, we're going to go for this. We're going to give it a boost. That uses up my builder, but we shave off three turns a little bit faster. Yeah. Well, the 50% boost means we, we instead of seven turns, we get a settler. We get seven turns, we get the ancestral hall. But then three turns, maybe four turns later, we get another uh, settler. So it sort of works, I think. And we are definitely going to be building plenty of settlers out of here, thanks to the fact that we have Magnus. And if I don't get to, like, four or five cities soon, I think we're going to be in a lot of trouble. I can expand aggressively to the west. There's so much space for me to grow out here that this becomes, like, the wild frontier. So I'll forward settle down here. I'll settle over here to get horses. And then we just push west, west, west. And we need a lot of settlers. So, yeah, I actually think this might be the right call. All right. Thank you all for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask that you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. <laughs>